Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given exponential equation 27 power x minus 1 plus 729x minus 2187 equals to 0. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's go ahead and move these two terms to the right hand side so we are going to get and now we can see that this uh, 2187 could be broken down to 729 times 3 isn't it so therefore our this equation is going to become 27 power x minus 1 equal to 729 times 3 minus 729 times x and now we can see on the right hand side 729 is in common so the right hand side could be written as I'm going to factor out 729 outside and inside the parentheses we can have a 3 minus x and now let's focus on this 729 729 is same as 27 square therefore our this equation could be written as 27 power x minus 1 equal to 27 square times 3 minus x now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 27 square on this side and 27 on the left hand side whole square now let's recall this uh, quotient rule of exponents we are going to apply it on the left hand side so the left hand side could be written as 27 power x minus 1 when we move this 2 on the other side becomes negative 2 equals to on the right hand side these two cancel each other out so we ended up with the 3 minus uh, x so the left hand side is going to become 27 power x minus 3 equals to 3 minus x and now to make things simple let me go ahead and make a substitution let me go ahead and call let u equals to 3 minus x then negative u is going to be simply x minus 3 so that means this part is going to become u and this exponent is going to become negative u then our this equation is going to be transformed into 27 power negative u equals to u and now let's go ahead and manipulate this equation by taking a power of uh, negative 1 over u on the right hand side and the left hand side as well so I'm gonna put a negative 1 over u on the right hand side as well and now let's recall this power rule of exponents we can apply it on the left hand side and here if we multiply these two nested exponent we ended up with the 27 power simply 1 equal to on the right hand side this is going to become u power negative 1 over u and now let's go ahead and manipulate this exponent negative 1 over u I can write this negative 1 over u as negative 1 times 1 over u so therefore our this equation is going to be become 27 power 1 is same as 27 and this uh, u power this simply become negative 1 times 1 over u now let's go ahead and apply this power rule on the right hand side so the right hand side could be written as u power negative 1 and whole power 1 over u and now let's focus on this uh, u power negative 1 this is same as writing 1 over u so the right hand side is going to become 1 over u whole power 1 over u as well and moreover 27 could be written as 3 power 3 
So the left hand side is going to become 3 power 3. Now let's recall this basic rule of exponents. As we can see we have a 3 power 3 equal to 1 over u power 1 over u. And by comparison we can write 3 equals to 1 divided by u. Now 3 could be written as 3 divided by 1. Now let's go ahead and flip both sides over. So 3 over 1 is going to become 1 divided by 3 equal to on the right hand side. This is going to become u over 1. So therefore u is equal to 1 divided by 3. But we know that u equals to 3 minus x. Therefore, I'm going to replace this u by 3 minus x equal to 1 divided by 3. Now let's go ahead and isolate this x by moving it to the right hand side. And at the same time, I'm going to move this fraction 1 over 3 on the left hand side. So we are going to have a 3 minus 1 over 3. And this negative x is going to become positive x. Let me just put 1 underneath this 3 to make it a fraction. And now let's go ahead and crisscross to simplify them. If we cross multiply, 3 times 3 is going to give us 9 minus 1 times 1 is 1 divided by. We are going to multiply out these denominators. That's going to give us 3. So that means this is going to give us 8 divided by 3. So therefore our solution x turns out to be 8 divided by 3. And now here's our final step. Let's go ahead and check our solution at x equal to 8 divided by 3 by just plugging in these x value by 8 divided by 3 and 8 divided by 3 over here as well. And if we see the left hand side is indeed equal to the right hand side. And here I have replaced this uh, x by 8 over 3 and over here x by 8 over 3 and uh, we are going to simplify the left hand side and see whether the left hand side is indeed equal to the right hand side. And here I have simplified the left hand side and over here 27 I just wrote it down as 3 power 3 and then simplified it and we can see that our left hand side turns out to be equal to right hand side. So that means this is indeed a true statement. So thus we conclude that 8 divided by 3 is our valid solution. And finally here is our solution. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.